All right, so an indoor garden update, Christmas Day. I haven't done anything in a while, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, a lot of things aren't growing now, and I'll explain when I get to it. Here's just some plants that keep growing and growing and growing. Um, so they're in front getting some light. That's like a hollyhock. I don't know what that is. I thought it was a hollyhock, but, uh, excuse me, I, a, um, man, what was the, can't remember the name of it right now. It'll come to me in a minute. Um, hollyhock and... Uh, foxglove but it it might be a different kind I don't know it flowered and it was about seven feet tall but um, it got overwhelmed with aphids no matter what I did to it and so I cut it down and in like two months it's growing back already uh, there's some social garlic down there um, I just restarted some uh, what are these called um, radishes um, they're good I had to pull them out early because I even got new soil and aphids showed up in this new soil. Totally different company too, really aggravating. Um, so I pulled them out early because they had tons of good greens and uh, the radish greens are awesome. They eat like salad. And I think that's going to be spinach over there. And these are uh, like a romaine lettuce and they usually take around 40 to 50 days. Radishes will be done in like 20 to 27 days so that's really cool. And again remember you can eat the, um, the greens of them. These are about 50 days. Here's some cucumbers starting and there might be some more lettuce over there that I planted. I uh, I have a lot of stuff that I want to grow that I'm not and the reason why is strawberries. So real briefly I started this 2021 in November so it's like a year and one month and I started out with like six strawberry plants which are roots. They come as dry roots and a crown. Uh, it doesn't look green or anything. They almost look dead and I have a total I think of about 53 to 55 that's in one year um, so it's take up so many space so much space in my other shelves that I'm not growing things like tomatoes Brussels sprouts eggplant um, even my bell peppers and stuff because there's no room right now uh, they just keep growing and as you can see so like I clipped this guy um, from I think here or maybe over there one of the bigger plants and it's got a baby going to here and the baby's got a baby going to here so they've been freaking out for like the last year they just warm, warm everywhere so uh yeah strawberries galore everything is organic non-gmo root plant or seed um up here i got a cactus cutting that i'll show you in a minute christmas cactus it hasn't bloomed like i had this thing for like six years or more it hasn't bloomed uh not this one but my big cactus hasn't bloomed more strawberries uh rosemary uh, some dill and wildflowers that must have came up way late that never came up that all of a sudden came up And some parsley growing some green onion that I cut a few times. I think it's out done now some celery uh, Sage some basil I cut a few times and I think this is oregano that I got started These shelves are three feet wide 16 inches deep six feet high five adjustable shelves Called hyper tough three different colors. You can get them in They're stainless steel coated the lights are GE grow lights. They're two feet by about maybe four inches, three inches. They're white, but they're red and blue spectrum. They're from fruit to finish, or excuse me, seed to fruit. Um, and that means from a baby seed to mature plant fruited. They're red and blue spectrum, but they look white because they're way brighter and beautiful in the house. It's a lot better than, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The hazy pinkish red color. I don't like that. Um, this shelf I haven't been able to do yet, uh, but that's what the shelf will look like. And just a couple weeks ago, I decided to, I had a couple wood left, so I used wood on two bottoms. Then I bought these panel boards, and I cut them. So you can see right here, I cut the panel boards. They're like uh, 3 16 inch, and they're a little bit hard. They're foam boards for like crafts, I guess, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, they do well. So I like them a little better. It's stained here, because I didn't have one of those at the time, so it's stained. <coughs> Excuse me. But they go well. I like it. I just popped the chains right through there. And um, I even have one up top, so I have my crystals and uh, my birdhouses, I have storage up there, so that's cool. The grow lights are like, I think, anywhere from 30 to 40 a piece, and the shelvings are $63 a piece. That's tax and shipping included. So it's not that bad. So I have a second floor, two bedroom apartment. You could do this easily. Um, and you can see 16 inches doesn't sound wide, but these guys are like four inches, that guy's six inches. So you can see the depths. That's like a big bowl. That's raspberry, by the way, and no thorn raspberry. And that's wild mint that I cut and I've been having for like probably five years. And um, it just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And it came from a creek 
um, out in the wild. So that's awesome. And let's see. Uh, yeah, so I, w I have an apartment. So I have three of these. So if you have a basement, a garage, an apartment, you can find space for this. This is right next to my back door. Um, again, it's three feet, six feet high, five adjustable shelves, 16 inches deep. So it doesn't take much off the floor, as you can see. So I'm big into like recycling and stuff like that. Um, so I had this extra piece of wood. I have two, one more in my other room, and it was real thick, three quarters inches, and a real heavy board. So I cut it and put it down. I was gonna buy more until they told me that it's gonna cost me about I think it was forty eight dollars per eight foot, and I needed like twenty seven feet or something like that. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I think if I did the math, I remember correctly, it was like three hundred something dollars. And I was like, I can't spend that. That's why I got the foam boards cost me about $75 for 10 foam boards and I cut them but the wood is a lot nicer um, it doesn't stain it's a lot easier to clean up uh, it's one of that particle board with that plasticky type stuff on the top so you can do that if you want to buy one of these especially if you only have like one shelf you can not have to spend more than like $75 or something so here's carrots down there some more cucumbers growing over there um, some cucumbers growing over here these are just plants I think that is um, I always want to say rosemary, uh, say, uh, no, lavender, lavender. It hasn't done anything in about a year and a half. Just kind of grows and looks like that now. And that's uh, balloon flowers. And again, this is taking up space now because um, I had finished some Brussels sprouts and some eggplant. And um, I needed room for these instead of being on the floor. So I just said, forget it. I'll just let these grow out for now until I start something else. But they're like snapdragons, um, I think there's Sweet Williams in the back. This is a fox glove, fox glove. Um, these are snapdragons. I don't know what this is. It has tiny little white flowers. Another Christmas cactus in the back. Over here is some wild, uh, not wild blueberry, some miniature dwarf blueberries. Um, I got a few blueberries, but um, they're probably better outside um, than doing inside. And then over here is tons of strawberries again. And so the occasional seed either in the, um, in the, the mix that I had or in the um, the potting soil. This looks like snapdragon though, because I have one over there. So it probably was like a seed that never hatched and I reused some soil and then it hatched. So I got a strawberry and then some snapdragons. And again, you can see the strawberries galore. Um, another thing like uh, Sweet Williams just popped up in here and they won't flower until the second year. Uh, you can see this guy's putting out a berry here, another snapdragon. So these are like more on the newer side. That's what a flower looks like from a strawberry. They smell really nice. Um, so here is, now I actually have, remember I said I had 19 out there and then 34 in here. So it's like 53, but what I noticed is some of the plants split. So when they don't grow a baby, they actually make another plant. You can see like that plant made a plant. I cut away at some of it and then it made another one there. So that's like a plant and that's like a plant right there. So technically it's more than one plant um, and I'll show you. So see over here, this guy's got this growing over there and then the other plant has got its own growing there. Uh, this guy I noticed last night sticking out of here um, growing a baby and we got some berries there, some there. This one's nice here, a whole bunch in here. So this plant did the same thing. It kind of made two plants or three plants now. Oh, it's actually kind of like three plants now. There's two there. And then this guy started here. It just kind of came up. Now, that's very rare compared to how it makes those those baby vines. So I don't know. And this, this is another one. This is a big one here. So if you can look in here, you can see the two giant plants that came out of it. It was just one. And then like a few months ago, it started to grow that. And what I'll tell you real briefly, get a good look at a flower here, is that... Um, they're supposed to last for two years, these plants. There are some, I forget the species of strawberries. Um, these are smaller berries, so they'll look only around that size. These guys will grow to like normal size, like up to the size of my thumb. Um, so after two years, they're apparently supposed to die. So I had them in June of 2021 uh, outdoors, and I decided to bring the six indoors. And that's how I got all these. Um, and they're supposed to fruit in June, mid-June, and then in the fall. But mine are like constantly producing. So for instance, all these plants here, especially these guys here, because these are the original. So like this guy put out over the last few months, I would get a few berries, like two to three berries, 
that were nice and cut that branch thing off and it would do it again and within a few weeks I'd have more berries and then more and then more and as you can see this guy is just constantly producing so if you catch an older video I'm saying the same exact thing months ago you could see it you know it's interesting and this little guy here is putting out a lot of nice ones all over so yeah it's really interesting sometimes you only get like let's see all right so that's a deformed one and then these two good ones and this is part of it that's a little bit deformed and then these guys here are growing too and that thing is going to become one too so you get anywhere from two to four nice healthy ones per plant and now that they're growing so much it's really cool and here it's just more strawberries because i have no room for it and these guys are more newer and now they're producing their first time around so as you can see this guy put out a nice sized berry here and then these guys will probably not do anything sometimes they will well, sometimes they won't. I give them a few, like a week or two, and I could tell if they're going to do it or not. If not, I cut it and it will grow a new one. Like, see here, these two are good. Then it's growing another one in the middle. So, yeah, you know, if you like strawberries, it's awesome. It's pretty fun, too, to do this. And now that I have all these plants, strawberry farm, um, I can produce anywhere from four to six at a time that are ripe. So, for instance, that one over there that I showed you. You know, if nobody else is ready yet, but these other ones like that one and uh, some of those guys there, they'll be ready at the same time. So like these guys, they'll all be ready at the same time. So maybe with that other one, this one, and these two little guys here. So I'll have these two little guys and that one and then a big one up to show you. And I'll just either throw it on a salad or in a wrap or I'll just eat them. So it's pretty cool now that they're going. They'll continuous and continuous and continuous. And um, they're easy, easy, easy to maintain. You cut the leaves off once in a while. If you see spider mites, just rub your fingers on them. Um, other than that, it's pretty dang simple to keep them. And uh, as you can tell, they could start growing like crazy. Oh, and this here, this looks like a sunflower. It must have had a leftover sunflower seed because it's fuzzy. Um, they kind of look like zinnia, but I think it's a sunflower. So I'm going to have to put this somewhere else so it can get good lighting and it doesn't grow up into anything so that's interesting and down here I decided to um, well first of all I don't know what those are it's been around a year and a half or more and they haven't flowered yet I don't know what they're gonna be some more Christmas cactus cuttings some herbs over here so like you didn't see a lot of herbs but I normally grow like cilantro basil dill parsley oregano and you know the other ones that you saw um, but like I said, I, I don't got the room right now because of all the strawberries. These are going to be um, lilac bushes. One is going to be a gray, uh, 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 not gray, grapey color like uh, violety purple. And the other one is going to be yellow and white. And they take about, I think, two to three years before they'll flower. And I think they'll be full grown by like the fifth or sixth year and they'll be around seven, eight feet tall. So I'm going to plant them around somewhere. And uh, that should be pretty cool. So I propagated some plants. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna work. I, I did only one cutting, like they take a long time. So for instance, that's my original and it hasn't, this is the first year that it hasn't bloomed. One time it bloomed twice. There's what I did last time. So this is about a year old. It takes a long time. It was like this little guy I showed you here. And it actually did um, bloom a few months after I planted it. So I have like a whole bunch of these to see if they'll work so I can give it to the neighbors. Then my neighbor last year gave me two different plants. One like this and a different kind of leaf, like these tropical ones. This plant, not this one, because this is a clipping, but it, um, the one plant turned into four and the other plant turned into two, two or three. So that's pretty cool, I'll give them away. So yeah, what else I can tell you real quickly is I've done little small yellow or golden potatoes from the store. I sputted them and I did them in a bucket, so that was really cool. Um, like I said, there's tomatoes, an eggplant, um, there is the bell peppers, and there's the Brussels sprouts that aren't there either. Um, and that would be basically all I would eat, like salad type stuff. Um, and then the herbs and everything like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's interesting, it's cool, it's fun, it brightens up the house. And um, sometimes the lettuce doesn't grow all that well. Like as you can see, it's sort of like growing outwards instead of like clumped, you know, like a romaine would be that way. Sometimes it grows perfect, sometimes it does that. 
Um, apparently it has to be on a little bit on the cooler side and it needs a lot, a lot of light. So I put them under where the light is not too high above them. So now they're starting to seemingly grow pretty good. But the good thing about when you grow lettuce is, uh, unless you have a big family, you'd clip the whole thing. Um, I can just clip like whatever leaves are the most mature out of all the plants, throw them in my wrap or on my salad, and then they keep growing and they keep growing. You do that with spinach too. Radishes, I don't do that obviously because when the radish grows, I just pull it out so I have radish and the greens to eat. All right? So yeah, so if you're interested in doing this stuff, you can do it in a basement, a garage, or your apartment. All right, lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.